in the battle against Cell, Goku sacrificed himself in order to save the Earth. What kind of adversary is waiting for him in the other world? Hey guys, what's going on? So Konic here, and today we're going to be going over Epic Battle Arise Otherworld Challengers. So this event is based off of the anime exclusive, the Otherworld Tournament, and it has the characters that we saw from that small little mini arc. Uh, this is only a one level event and has three different difficulties. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. So the only level here, Forces of the Otherworld. Uh, you go on Normal, and Normal you go up against an Agility Cell, a Technique Frieza, and a Technique King Cold. Well, that's a stop right there, and once you beat them, you're forced to only go down one path, and that's where you go up against an Intelligence North Galaxy Goku Angel. His first time, he get, gives you a guaranteed SSR drop of his own type. You get one drop of him, and you get one Dragonstone upon completion. Now, real quick before I go any further, that SSR drop, that's a Z Awakened version of his SR variant. Uh, I'm going to be going over the missions in a little bit, but any SR card of this type that you want to get, feed the SRs into his Z Awakened version. That way you don't have to use your metals or Zenny to Z Awaken him. Just a little bit of conservation there, just because I know some people have already gone and tried to get his SR variant up to Super Attack 10 and then Z Awaken him. Don't do that. Use the Z Awaken base form as your actual card unit and then feed the SRs into him. Makes it easier. Uh, round two, hard. You go up against still, I don't know, so I'm looking at the wiki on the levels as you see on your screen right now. Uh, there's actually still a stop on hard and Z hard to go up against Cell, Frieza, and King Cold on each of those different difficulties. Uh, I don't know why it's not there, but I'm going to go ahead and leave a note on the actual page. So you're going to go up against the Cell and the Technique Final Form Frieza and the Technique King Cold. And then you have a choice if you want to make a left or a right. A left will lead you to Paikuhan and a right will lead you to the Intelligence Goku. Each one's a different type. Goku's intelligence and the Paikuhan is the strength type. Uh, so if you go on the left, bring an agility team. If not, then bring a physical team, I would say. Uh, I'll go over that in a minute as to why. On hard, it's not that relevant. Uh, you, when you go, if you go down the Goku path, you either get a uh, Goku card, the Z Awakened version of him, you have a chance to drop him, or you get an Awakening Medal. Now, unfortunately, on hard, it only looks like you're getting a standard Awakening Medal, and you're not going to get a good Awakening Medal until you go down to the Z Heart level. Um, one really cool thing is this new training item, which I'm going to go over at the end of this. Um, it's Paikuhan's weighted gear, essentially just his hat. So you have a chance to get that if you go to take on Paikuhan. So that's actually really, really beneficial. Uh, Z Hard, it's the same exact setup as on Hard. Uh, you go up against the first three stages of the Cell, Frieza, and King Cold, and then you have a choice to make a left or a right. When you go down now on a Z Hard, each of these guys' health bars get three bars of health, like you're going up against one of the OG Dogen events. Uh, not too difficult at all. I just recommend bringing a type advantage to make it go quicker. Uh, so if, you, if you're rocking a uh, Vegeta team, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and you're trying to grind that Paikuhan stuff, bring that because you're just going to destroy him. Goku, unfortunately, you don't have it. I just bring the Super Saiyan 4 Goku team to go up against him. So on this one, you have a chance to drop the same card for the Goku card, but on Z Hard, now you have the chance to drop the Goku Angel medals. Uh, you're going to need about uh, 24 of them in order to continue, well, to get Doken Awakings in. I'm not going to go over the Doken Awakings from the banner on this video. That's going to be saved for another video. Uh, but you're going to need 24 Goku medals total. And if you go down the Paikuhan, you can get more of his training item. It doesn't have a guaranteed drop. You have to actually go through it, and it will randomly drop. Uh, you need 30 Paikuhan medals. He also drops a Paikuhan uh, Awakening medal for this event. So you're going to need 30 Paikuhan medals and 24 Goku medals total, uh, depending on what you're trying to grind out. If you just want to have them, just in case for the future, uh, for the cards that are available on the banner, or if you're, if you're just looking to use it for awakening the card that's farmable here, we're going to go over that when I do the card review. So, additional information. This is currently only available on the global side. This is not available on the JP side. It hasn't been as of yet. It might, it, might, it probably is going to be, uh, but as of right now, it's a global exclusive. One thing I want to say, grind out these Paikuhan weighted items. These items, these training items are phenomenal. If you guys were around for the one and a half, like the Christmas special that they did, the one and a half sort of year anniversary, uh, they had the candy canes, which is one million experience points. That's exactly what his weighted head gear is. It's one million experience points for training. It's one and a half million if you have the same type of character train with that item. Holy crap. Guys, if you have grinded everything out, or if you don't want to grind anything out, and you're just, you know, dicking around in the game, I recommend getting these training items as, like, I'd say a higher priority 
they're super useful for LR cards. I would say try to get maybe a five of each at most, you know, I mean, at least, I'm sorry, at least a five or more of these, uh, just because you're going to want them for the LRs. As you all are probably aware, trying to get LRs up to level 150, it's a pain. Once you get past like level 125, 130, trying to get them up to the top 150 is ridiculous. So having these items using a double, a guaranteed double time success rate will make it that much easier to get them to the higher levels that you want. Yeah, just grind them out while you can. I don't know what the drop rates on them are, unfortunately. Uh, so what I was saying before about the, the Goku card, we're going to jump down to the uh, mission rewards right now. Uh, the Goku that drops from the first round, he is a Z-Awakened version of himself, variant of himself, right? So the missions give you the SR variant of himself. You get a total of 10 of them. Now, you don't need all 10. So what you can do is, first off, get that Z-Awakened version of him. Go ahead, grind out all the medals that you're going to need. If you want to grind out all 24 Goku medals, wait to see how many of the Z Awakened variants of himself that you actually can get, that you do get. Feed them into himself. And then with the mission rewards, go ahead, collect and bob of them. Uh, there are no actual other Goku Angel cards that are available. You can't really feed them into anyone. So uh, it's not really worth keeping them. Uh, so go ahead, feed them into Baba, get rid of them. Uh, I mean, unless you want to keep them because you think that at some point in the future that there's going to be a base form Goku Angel card that's worth it, uh, go for that if you want to. I don't mind. Uh, it's just not enough room in my box to do something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, the other thing is if you're just going to run this event once just to get the character, get the Z Awakened version of him. Um, well, you're going to have to run the event at least 20 times. But if you run the event 20 times, you're going to get all 9 of these uh, or 10 of these Gokus. And then you just feed the SR variants into his SSR Z Awakened variant. Alright, cool. So now that we went over that, let's go ahead and jump into the card review. Uh, now, again, I just want to state I'm not going to be going over the banner cards in this video. This video is specific to the event, so I'm just going to be going over... The actual card that drops and that is the rising star in North Galaxy Goku Angel and his Dokken Awakened variant the Super Saiyan Goku Angel card. Uh, Alright so let's go ahead and talk about this card rising star in North Galaxy Goku Angel. He has a leader skill of all types HP and attack plus 20% his super attack is Kamehameha causes huge damage to the enemy and raises attack for three turns. His passive skill is exploration in the other world he has a high chance of key plus one and attack plus 60%. His link skills are All in the Family, Experienced Fighters, Z Fighters, Kamehameha, and Other World Warriors. Uh, he has max stats of HP of 7450, attack of 5835, and defense of 3395. He has a 12 key multiplier of 120%, and when you get his super attack level to the max, he will fire super attacks at key of 9 or more. Now he gets a Doken Awakening, and you need to Doken Awaken him with six Paikuhan medals. So that's where that extra six comes from when I was talking about before when you need the 30 Paikuhan medals and the 24 Goku medals. The six extra come from because of this card itself. Now he Doken awakens into strongest in the other world, Super Saiyan Goku Angel. He has a leader skill of all types HP and attack plus 30%. His super attack is Kamehameha, causes extreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for three turns. His passive skill, challenge in the other world. High chance of key plus two and attack plus 80%. Link skills are All in the Family, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Saiyan Warrior Race, and Other World Warriors. He has max stats of HP of 7640, attack of 6415, and defense of 3474. He has a 12 key multiplier of 130%, and like his uh, Undoken Awaken counterpart, he, ha he will launch super attacks at key of 9 or more. So, this card overall, not very useful, not very viable. I wouldn't recommend running him on any actual team. He is someone who is that would probably be decent if we have any mandatory events where you have to use free-to-play cards. He's not horrible. He does extreme damage and he raises his own attack, so that's not horrible. Uh, I, the, what really kills him is that high chance passive skill. If it was a guaranteed key plus two attack plus 80% with an extreme damage modifier, then he would be someone I would recommend running. Uh, the thing is, though, he's cool because he will link well with that free-to-play trunks. Uh, you know, if you guys remember what I'm talking about, the, the actual intelligence free-to-play trunks that's available. Uh, I mean, he has... He, this guy has Super Saiyan Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, and I mean, in some instances, you're going to have Kamehameha because there are some intelligence units that have Kamehameha, so his link skills aren't atrocious. Uh, he'd probably be a little bit better if he had prepared for battle. I feel like they should have either done, gave him the link skill prepared for battle to make him a little bit more relevant, or take not given him prepared for battle and just gave him that guaranteed key plus 2 attack plus 80%, just because this card is very underwhelming, especially for today's meta of the game. But... 
overall, he's not horrible. I still recommend grinding him out. He might be useful for you uh, at some point in the future. If anything, just get him Doken Awaken up to the point where he's an S maxed out SSR. If you ever need to get him, then Do uh, Z Awaken him. He requires one Elder Kai Metal to Z get Z Awaken. Uh, those Elder Kai Metals are precious, so I don't really try. To, I don't use them when I don't have to. So this guy will probably be sitting in my box as a Doken Awaken SSR until I ever actually need to use him in the game. Uh, but that's the actual event, guys, and the card that gets Doken Awakened from him. Uh, make sure you grind it out. I really recommend getting those training items. Those are really the things that are definitely worth it. Um, get the medals, too. I'm assuming these, this is going to have to come back, or a different variant of the, the actual mission is going to come back, because uh, I don't think that they're going to give us the same training items. It'll, they'll probably change the training items to Z-Swords in the future if this event does come back, because these training items are too good. It's probably just a two-year exclusive. I don't know, though. Uh, but I recommend grinding them out while they're here, because you don't know. Uh, five of each minimum is my recommendation, and get all those medals. Stay tuned, later on today I'm going to be dropping the video uh, of the banner card review, so I'll be going over all the banner cards, like the Frieza, the Cell, King Cole, the Goku, and the Paikuhan. Uh, thank you guys, remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.